We're very proud that uh, we have this uh, foundation for many years and uh, it has even an increasing success with uh, more than 1,000 uh, people attending here in Cairo. And uh, for us it's key in the future to engage and discuss with all stakeholders of society where construction, where building materials, where housing uh, will go for the future. The topic for this forum has been rematerialising construction. How can we decarbonise our materials and how can we deal with a growing population and, a, and an increasing demand for materials? We've been looking at uh, natural materials and grown materials from biological sources and then we've been talking about flows of materials within cities and dealing with the situation where we see lots of demolition, lots of construction waste. So we've seen a whole range of different opportunities and options, some of them happening now and some of them that we'd like to implement into the future. Lafarge Olsen, we are one of the biggest material users, producers, and uh, we need to rise to the challenge of the increasing population and uh, also the limits of materials. With Foundation, we are at the, at the cutting edge. We bring leading people here and uh, we can pick up the learnings also in our own innovation processes. For example, how digital is uh, having a big influence on future constructing. And on the other side, digital again has the potential to bring know-how and to empower the people working locally to construct the environment they are looking for. Materials are very important, but particularly nowadays, because the problem of climate change is becoming so urgent, what we do in the next 10, 20 years is going to be critical. And this means that the embodied energy and CO2 we spend when we construct a building is contributing much more to that than the in-use phase of the building, which is happening over 50, 100 years. For me, what is key is to make people understand that cement and concrete are not the enemy. We have to think how we can make it work better and make it work for sustainable future. Who, if not we, would be able and capable to address those challenges? That means we have to also go back to the drawing board thinking about our material and the context of our material in a construction. What is our real demand in space? Do we need that? How are we going to fulfill this in terms of energy efficiency, in terms of reduction of carbon emissions in the use phase of buildings? What's the most appropriate design for a building? And if you made this with materials, then you come to the least resource consumption for maximum use and beauty. From today on, we would be able to supply such kind of solutions. We need to find a regulatory playing field in which such kind of um, solutions and also become a business case. Construction supply chain is extremely conservative and is still being driven by costs, by liability and by safety. And today does not integrate fully or early enough concepts such as carbon neutrality, circularity. So recycling concrete is something that we can do today. However, it's not business as usual. So we still need a business model and an economic environment which enables us to, to accelerate the deployment and the uptake of, of these solutions. But what will be the role of concrete in carbon neutral construction, in fully circular construction? That is the key questions that we at Lafarge Olsim need to answer. And the foundation gives us this opportunity to engage with leaders in their practice. I always remember Buckminster Fuller. We collaborated together for the last 12 years of his life. And his mantra of doing more with less, his awareness of the fragility of the planet. Famously, he says to me, how much does your building weigh? In a way, it's a rhetorical question, provocative, but it's optimistic. We can use materials which are lighter, easier to transport, and it's a future of doing more with less, of using the precious resources more wisely.